love it when I turn up the bass. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing this kind of chaotic but cute pink clown makeup. It is using predominantly makeup products. I say that because when I go into it, as you'll see, I say all makeup. But I had a slight mishap and my white liquid eyeliner ran out so we had to use a bit of white face paint. But imagine it's a white liquid eyeliner sorry but yeah if you'd like to see how i created this cute pink clown makeup for halloween then please keep watching okay clown so this is my outfit that i will be wearing on halloween sneak peek it's from luana the label i'm gonna try and match my makeup to this outfit the best i can so the theme is gonna be black and pink everything i'm gonna be using is makeup based no face paints no special effects if you wanted to add blood and special effects obviously you do you this is just how i'm going to do it with what i have at home so i've not had to go out and buy anything so what i've started off doing off camera is just doing a base of foundation and then powder and i've also prepped my eyes so just if you want to do a full b contour blush highlighter honey you go for it and obviously i've got compound lenses in as well i don't smudge my makeup when i put them in later on so yeah i'll link where i got my contacts from down below they're really cheap i got like three for two i think so what we're going to do first is just outline the shape that we're going to do so we're just going to do the standard like clown triangle um i think i'm just going to well you'll see um it's always good to have like a pitch for reference i literally just got went on pinterest and just typed in like halloween clown makeup and you can just you see loads on there and it's just obviously the colours are going to be slightly different to what you see but it's just to get a just a rough shape you know so I'm going to go for similar ish not the same to this so where it's like the three but I'm going to do it slightly different but yeah that's literally just for reference I do have a mirror down here so if I'm looking down here that is why so white because you can rub it out and if it's not if it's messy it's absolutely fine And yeah, if you don't like how some of it came out, you can just completely go over it. Good to keep a sharp pencil as well. Luckily, mine has a sharp knit in the lid. It's just one of those MUA one pound ones from Superdrug. If anyone is interested, always good to have a sharpener to hand. Okay, so that's just a rough outline done. If you want to do more, do more. If you want to make it smaller, bigger you do you okay so what we're gonna do is start filling in our just eyes and kind of the shading around this bit which i am gonna try and do so i'm just using a pink that i already have this is a jeffree star beauty killer palette i'm just using this star power one like it's literally not gonna use this palette um you can tell i got this in like 2015 yeah i just want it on a really fluffy brush and what i'm gonna do might be a bit big actually so i found a smaller brush but it's still fluffy i'm just gonna like fill in a bit of the gap between where the like spikes of the um, triangles are If it's a bit messy, don't worry. Obviously, we're going to go over the white bits with black anyway. I'm just going to go over my actual like crease with the same pink on that bigger fluffy brush. You can literally do what you want here. If you wanted to do like a cut crease, do it. If you want to do different colours, do it. I just think personally i think it's going to look the best just pink this would actually look quite cool with white you could do that instead if you don't want to do it in black keep it in white so i've just literally played around with it um i hope they look a bit uneven Decided I want these slightly lower. This one's slightly off centered, but that's fine. Fine. What I'm going to do is just take a liquid eyeliner. This is just a NYX Epic Wear one. 
now this calls for a very light hand and I'm just going to try and do the outlines of those squares. Triangles, not squares. You know what I mean. Okay, obviously I did mess up slightly there. You know what's fine. <sighs> Let's fill this in. So I'm gonna be filling it in. You can just fill it in with that, but I find sometimes when you drag the liquid eyeliner, it goes a bit like see-through or like not as full. So just take any liquid eyeliner in like a pot, one of these gel liners, sorry, pots. Um, and then I'm just taking a lip brush and I'm just gonna fill it in with this it's slightly more pigmented. They love it when I turn off the base. I'm just going to now do up here. If you wanted, you could bring the black down into a lid, but I just don't see that being a great idea to be fair. I'm gonna take just another even finer liner. This is the tattoo liner by Kat Von D just to really point out these edges. I feel a bit like I'm in Kiss. <laughs> I don't think that's the vibe I want this. Do you know what, it's fine. Okay, right, lit. So, what I'm thinking for lips is similar vibes. I'm going to do a bit of a smile in black. I'm going to just... With the pink shadow. Okay then, I'm going to take just a pink lipstick. This is just Snob by MAC. I've had this since I was like... 18. Feels so weird putting on lipstick with eyeliner, but. And then I'm just going to use the same lip liner brush and black just to outline my liner. This is where you're going to have to try and be neat. I'm going to start with a clean brush. I think that will be the best thing. I'm just gonna smile it out. Okay, so this is this. This is a bit scary. What you could do, will this ruin it? This might ruin it, but we're gonna do it anyway. Is if you've not contoured or blushed, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. Thank you to give me some more definition. I feel like something is not quite going together and I feel like I need white. So I did have a white eyeliner, but it ran out earlier. Really handy, I know. Ideally, I know I said this is all makeup. I lied, but if you've got a white eyeliner, use that. But mine's run out, so we're trying something slightly cheating. I'm just using a bit of white face paint. This is just a snazzery one. Um, it's just water. I just mix with water. Just poured a bit on. That was really not professional. Hey, yeah, just on that same brush with the white face paint that I said I wasn't going to use. This is adding the definition I was after. I don't know if to like link these up. We'll see. We'll see when it's. I think when I've done it all, we are making this up as we go. Taking it that step further and adding a nose. I don't think I'd, I don't know if I'd wear one out. But just did that with a black jumbo eye pencil. Okay, no, I'm actually quite happy with how it's come out. It's not neatest, but 
here we are it adds all of these colors i'm just gonna go do my hair and i will show you the final look and this is where not brushing your hair since this morning comes in handy so i've literally just put these like messy half pigtails up when i wear this out i probably will curl my hair so it's like loose waves but it just gives the whole kind of chaotic vibe i'm really actually happy with how the makeup came out i think the white really added everything to it so i know i know i cheated i'm sorry i'm sorry but yeah it's fine really happy with how this went i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was easy to follow so if it wasn't um yeah so it would mean so much to me if you don't subscribe already then press the subscribe button down below and also like and give me a comment and if you recreate this then just tag me in it that'd be great i'd love to see it so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye happy halloween